20 hours later, after the Fed said they wanted him, they finally got their man. Sheikh Omar Abdul Rahman, surrounded by his followers, turned himself in. Good evening, Koran's on vacation. There was shake, rattle, and roll tonight. The shake was arrested on immigration charges, but before that happened, federal agents rattled. They thought they lost him, but he's in custody and rolling to a lockup north of the city. George Smith reports. Flanked by attorney Michael Warren and Muslim followers, Sheikh Omar Abdel Rahman surrendered to federal authorities, ending a two-day game of cat and mouse. Loyal supporters chanted in unison as the blind Muslim cleric emerged from a Brooklyn mosque. Just after six tonight, the Sheikh walked from the mosque to a local fire station where INS agents took him into custody. Do you expect to see him again? Sure, I expect to see him again. The man is not guilty of anything. All he's doing is just traveling through the land, enjoying the right and forbidding the wrong. For two days, federal agents staked out this neighborhood waiting for the Sheikh to surrender. At one point Thursday night, a man disguised as the Sheikh with his trademark red and white hat jumped in a van and tried to drive away. Federal agents rushed to a car with their guns drawn, only to find out the man was an imposter. Finally, after a midday prayer and several hours of negotiation, the Sheikh turned himself in. I'm not at liberty to disclose where we plan to hold him. Why he is in custody, and he's going to remain in our custody uh, pending the uh, the outcome of the, the present proceeding. INS refused to discuss the Sheikh's future, but police officials say the Sheikh is being taken to a federal facility upstate in Otisville, New York. The Sheikh's legal advisor said his client is not a criminal, and he attacked Assemblyman Dove Hyken and U.S. Senator Alphonse D'Amato, both outspoken critics of the Sheikh. What could have occurred here today is a tragedy because we have seen too many tragedies occur most recently in Texas. But there was no fire here as in Waco and Senator Alphonse D'Amato had these words for the Sheikh's followers. Uh, I think we need the death penalty uh, for uh, uh, terrorists who blow up buildings and cause the death of other people. This is a new kind of warfare and we have to be committed to fighting it and there are indications the warfare may have just begun. Amid all this chaos, there's a report out of Egypt that the Sheikh's followers are threatening a worldwide bombing campaign now that their spiritual leader has been taken into custody. The Sheikh has not been charged with any crime, but his followers are accused in the World Trade Center bombing and a failed plot to bomb targets in New York City. Authorities are trying to determine if they can link the Sheikh to any of the terrorist activities, but for now, they'll begin proceedings to try to deport him. I'm George Smith, Fox News. Last night, we told you about a bomb scare at the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. The package in the drain pipe turned out to be some coiled rope wrapped in plastic. It could have fallen off a truck. Peter Lucas, the head of the union that represents the officers there, does not think the top bosses did the right thing. They left the tunnel open for over an hour after the package was spotted until the police arrived and shut it down. TBTA treated that package as it was a joke. They allowed motorists to use this facility because they were concerned about losing the $6 round trip toll. What should have been a concern here was the safety of the people using that tunnel. This was the second bomb scare the tunnel authority had to deal with in the past couple of weeks. The other one was at the Queens Midtown Tunnel. It also turned out to be a false alarm.